Hey kids, Tavi Rider here with some minecart science. Version 1.5 introduced powered rail and detector rail, and I wanted to find out exactly how this stuff behaves, especially compared to the booster cart style boosters, which still work. Uh, so let's let me show you the experiment that I've rigged up, or the series of experiments I've rigged up. Uh, first one is to check the speed of powered rail versus booster carts. So I have here a little setup. Uh, some unpowered powered rail and then when this booster cart setup starts going it'll send a signal around and this one will go so we'll be able to compare the speed and they didn't start at exactly the same time but you can see they're moving at basically the same speed so there is no speed difference between powered rail and booster carts uh, so I've rigged up a number of other experiments to try and figure out what the real differences are and let me show you uh, what I've done first of all uh, let's show the distance with a single piece of powered rail versus a short section of booster cart this is maybe a little bit more than one it's hard to judge exactly what it means to boost because you have these angles on either end but uh, with a, an unloaded cart you can see that a single powered rail gets you to here and the booster gets you to there now uh, the white line is the starting line for all of these experiments red is 10 blocks green is 15 and blue is 20 and you can see that the powered rail got you about eight blocks and the booster got you about 12 that's not a massive difference uh, that's you know there they are unloaded carts that don't go as far but this isn't a massive difference and maybe you could consider this one and a half powered or one and a half booster units so um, let me show you also the difference between loaded and unloaded and this is true for both booster carts and powered rails for this one I have it set up so that I can drop the minecart on this slope and it'll roll onto there so I have time to get on so that really the momentum is primarily coming from this and you, that one sign shows where it ended when it was a uh, an unloaded cart and the loaded cart is just going to keep going I'm, that would be a very boring video to make you wait until we get to the end the interesting thing is it doesn't really change the results much whether it's a booster cart or a powered rail having a loaded cart takes you about nine times as far and otherwise the results are identical so for the rest of these I'm just going to use the simpler launching mechanism where I just drop the cart on the powered rail and it goes and so let's see what the difference is with more powered rail one two three four all the way up to twelve and we'll see how far each of these can get and there we go all the way up to 12 and with two powered rail you didn't go twice as far you only went a couple of blocks farther you can see that these signs are here because I've run this experiment a few times now and the results are always pretty much the same it's a plus or minus one like this three cart didn't quite make it as far this time but um, the results are pretty much the same every time so with 12 times as many powered rails you went from about eight blocks to about 17 that's not a huge difference these these are not really adding up so doing long lines of powered rail as a long booster is not a good way to go uh, there are some suggestions that other arrangements might help like alternating uh, powered rail with unpowered rail uh, I, so I tried that at different lengths and so all the way up to this is seven powered rail alternating with regular rail and looks like I missed one there uh, but the differences are still the actually it did a little bit worse if you look this is seven uh, powered rail alternating and then uh, going down the line uh, right here is seven booster or seven powered rails in a row it went a little bit farther and that kind of makes sense because the unpowered rail is going to slow down some of these carts so alternating doesn't help there's some discussion that uh, you wanted to alternate it with detector rail because they were meant to work together or something and it was going to get you better physics well no that gets you slightly farther than the, the previous test but that's probably because of the little ramp at the beginning so this doesn't do any better how about two powered rail and then a gap uh, no that's eight booster uh, or eight powered rail in a row and that still gets you about to 14 
Okay, so here's one uh, useful experiment. I have this set up so that I can... Uh, I have a loop of powered rail, and the cart will run around there, and then when I place a torch, it will open up this turn. So let's see how this behaves with a very large amount of boosting. So let's go in this direction. So that's one lap, two laps, three laps, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten laps, maybe eleven, I might have miscounted, but ten laps around, that is forty powered rail with the unpowered gaps in the middle, yes, but we still only went fourteen blocks. So here's the final straw. I have approximately equivalent lengths of booster cart and powered rail. And when we set up the booster cart, well, let me show you the powered rail. It goes zooming off, and the booster cart, that boosted cart is going to go off into the distance. I didn't even place enough rail to, to well, maybe I did. Um, so the big difference here is that with powered rail, you can't store up a whole bunch of energy in the cart that you're trying to push around. It just peters out, and you get this, this diminishing returns where you pile up more and more power in your powered uh, rail, and it just doesn't get you that much farther. Whereas with booster carts, this is a pretty simple arrangement. There's more powerful arrangements than this one, and you can make that car cart just keep going and going right over the horizon. So that's the real difference. Um, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that we learn a lot about how these powered rails work. Maybe someone will figure out an arrangement where we can build up a whole bunch of momentum in a cart. Um, and either that or maybe Mojang will change it so that it can behave more like the booster carts. But without the ability to pile a bunch of speed into a mine cart, Powered rails are going to be, you're going to have to distribute them throughout your infrastructure if you're going to rely on them. You're going to have to place them about every 10, uh, well, a couple of them maybe. I think the right thing to do would be about every six, seven blocks, and then that will keep your cart at close to top speed, and uh, maybe you want to do pairs of them. I don't know. It's, uh, that's some further experimentation to find out exactly how many powered rails you need and how far apart, but it's going to be somewhere around five, six. Uh, and then you'll be able to keep your minecart at top speed for long distances. So I hope this is helpful. Please comment. Please uh, post your own science. I want to find out more about this with people's help. Thanks for watching.